Hello fellow computer enthusiasts, welcome back to ILTP WC, my name is Christian, hope you're doing well today. Today we will deep dive into Docker Compose in just 90 seconds. Excited? So am I, so let's go! Docker Compose is a powerful tool designed for managing multi-container Docker applications. It eliminates the need for manually creating and linking each container by using a simple YAML file to define and run your application services. Let's consider a real-world example. Imagine you have a Flask-based Python web app that uses Redis as a database and communicates with other services through a NUTS messaging server. And we'll use traffic as a reverse proxy and for SSL termination. The build directive under the web service instructs Docker Compose to build a Docker file in the current directory. The ports directive maps the host port 5000 to the container port 5000, making our application accessible from outside. Redis is our database service. Here we can use a pre-made Redis image from Docker Hub, saving us from manually installing and configuring Redis. Again, we use an official NUTS image from Docker Hub and define the necessary ports. Finally, we use traffic as our reverse proxy, which is responsible for routing requests to our web service. Also, we tell traffic to listen to our Docker daemon to route traffic to our containers. To launch our application, just run Docker Compose up from your terminal. Docker Compose takes care of everything, from building the image, starting the service in the correct order, to setting up the networking and managing the volume. All this with one single command. Docker Compose can significantly streamline your development workflow when working with multi-container applications. It can also act as a cornerstone in your home lab when you're utilizing infrastructure as code. Look at my other videos, you will find examples where I use Docker Compose to spin up a whole lot of services within my home lab. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of ILTP WC. If you like the content, please smash that subscribe button and also hit the like button. And if you have questions, just write down a comment in the video section. I'm really looking forward to talk to you. Thanks a lot and bye bye.